welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be talking to you about why many digital marketing graduates will never make any money online or get a well-paying job and what you can do about it. Okay, so why did I create this video? I created this video because I've trained many people. And after the training, some months later, I still realized that they are still the same people that they are. Even though they have learned a high income skill, they still haven't been able to achieve anything much with it. Why some of them have been able to go on to do great things with what they've learned, they've been able to get a good job. Some of them have been able to start their own company in their own little way, okay? Now, that is why I created this video to explain some things why many digital marketing graduates will never make any money online or get a well-paying job sorry the job is omitted and what you can do about it so that you will be different okay i'm expecting that the person watching this video has definitely gone through a digital marketing training so already understands what digital marketing is so i'll do a little introduction about myself before i go into it fully now, this video is brought to you by Jobsbridge Digital Marketing Academy, okay? We are a government-approved digital marketing agency. We are the number one digital marketing agency in Ibadan, okay? We are rated as the best digital marketing training institution in the city of Ibadan, okay? Best place to learn digital marketing in Ibadan, okay? These are some of the reviews from some of our students, okay? That's my picture. Don't mind my cap. My name is Moses Alabi Isama. I am the founder and head of trainings at Jobsbridge Digital Marketing Academy. These are some of the certifications that I've been able to gather over the past six to seven years teaching and implementing digital marketing. These are some of my students. These are recent graduates from our training. You can see us with our nose mask. This is in front of our office at the uh, office in Bodija in Ibadan. Okay, these are still them, some of them. These are some of my graduates as me in the middle. Okay, so let's get into it. Why you are here, okay? You are here to know the reason many digital marketing graduates don't make any money, even though they have a high income scale, and why they still are not able to get a better paying job, even though they have this high income skill called digital marketing, okay? Now, like I was saying, you want to know why many digital marketing graduates don't make money and what you can do about it to be an exception. Okay, but before I go into it, there are basically 12 categories and subcategories under digital marketing. Many fields in digital marketing are all interrelated. When you know one, you must know a little of the other. So that's why I said 12 categories and subcategories. Okay, so we have website design and development, graphics designing, affiliate marketing, search engine optimization, search engine marketing pay-per-click, social media advertising and management. I won't be explaining any of this because as a digital marketing graduate, you already know what all these things are, okay? We have email marketing, content marketing, lead generation, copywriting, blogging, information marketing. Now, many of these are all interrelated. For example, if you want to be an expert in lead generation, you must know about copywriting. You must know about content marketing. You must know about email marketing. Okay, so they are all interrelated. Okay, so why do many digital marketing graduates not make any money? <laughs> Even after they have been able to invest their time and energy learning what digital marketing is. I created this video basically because I know that these digital marketing graduates are just few steps away to start making money, okay? And because they've already gone a step ahead than the average Nigerian youth. Many Nigerians, for example, want things to be better without them improving or without them becoming better. They just expect that, like God did it to the Israelites, manna will just be falling from heaven without them doing anything. My dad used to tell me something. He said, in the Bible, Jesus made it clear that God feeds the birds of the, in the air. God, God feeds them. They don't have pots, they don't have a stove, they don't have gas, but God, God feeds them. He said something. One thing Jesus didn't tell us is that 
even though God feeds them, they have to go around looking for the food. The food doesn't come to meet them in their nest. They have to go around looking for the food. Yet, we agree that it is God that feeds them. Okay, let's get into it. The number one reason is that, you see, I've mentioned 12 different subcategories under digital marketing. The first reason many digital marketing graduates don't make any money or get a well-paying job is because they want to be jack of all trade. Now, like I said, I'm the founder and head of training of a digital marketing training institute. And I've been doing this digital marketing thing for the past six years. But do you know up till now, I've not designed a single website in my life since I've started this digital marketing agency, Jobs Bridge Digital Marketing Academy. I've not designed a single website yet. My digital marketing agency has designed over 50 websites in the past five years. And I didn't design any of them because you must learn to be an expert in one, two, maximum three in this digital marketing field. I'm an expert in SEO, lead generation, and content marketing. I won't say I'm an expert in Facebook advertising. I know everything inside Facebook advertising. I know everything inside Google Ads. But today, if someone calls me and says, please, can you run a Facebook ad back for us? I will just refer them to someone else. That is not what I want to specialize on. Because to me, Facebook advertising is part of the lowest skills in digital marketing. Because Facebook advertising is something you can learn within one hour and you already have your Facebook ad back up and running. But having a Facebook advert up and running doesn't make you make a dime. There are other bigger skills that you must have before you can succeed with your Facebook advert. That skill is called copywriting because it is the words that you write or the videos that you create online that will actually make people come from Facebook or anywhere on social media or on Google Ads to come to your landing page or your website. You must master at least maximum three, maximum of three of these digital marketing skills. Many of them get confused because you want to be the website developer. You want to be the graphic designer. You want to be the SEO manager. You want to be the graphics designer. You also want to be in charge of content. You also want to be in charge of affiliate marketing. You will not make a dime. You will spread yourself out thin and become frustrated. You need to master one. And once you've made up your mind, for example, I'm an expert in SEO and lead generation, like I said. There is hardly a night that I don't download a new video on SEO and copywriting. You see, SEO, copywriting, and content marketing go together. You can't be an expert in SEO without knowing how to write words that will entice people to click on your content. So once you have decided on a field you are going to be an expert in, you need to launch out watching videos. This is not the time to be reading material. You are supposed to be watching videos about that on YouTube download the YouTube videos and get a mentor that you want to follow his or her footsteps. The mentors I follow are Nell Patel, is the one that owns ubersuggest.com. I follow Miles Beckler, is the one that owns milesbeckler.com. Then I follow Dan Locke. Dan Locke is the highest paid consultant in the world and is an expert copywriter. So, focus on a maximum of three. If you want to do it in the best way, focus on just one. That one that you want to focus on definitely will still need you to understand two, three other things inside digital marketing, but you are an expert in one. It's just as those other parts are all inside that, in, uh, they are all inside that part that you want to master. For example, if you want to be a master in lead generation, you must know what SEO is. You must know about content marketing and you must know about copywriting. But you see, I won't go out there and say, I'm a website designer. I'm a lead generation expert. So whether you own a web design company or you own a solar company or you own a digital marketing training, I can help you generate leads. 
So I'm a lead generation expert. Okay, so that's the first one. Do not be jack of all trade, full stop. And I've given myself as an example, I don't do web design. You can't catch me doing graphics designing. It's not going to happen. There are not things I want to learn how to do, and I'm not interested. Focus on one or two out of these skills. I hope you get the point. Number two, they have no practical evidence that they know what they are talking about. Somebody says, Mr. Moses, um, I have seven digital marketing certifications. I have five from Google. I have three from Upspot. I have this from Twitter. I have this from London. I have this from Canada. Okay, okay, yeah, I understand. You have the certificate. Good. Show me what you have done before. Then he starts saying, uh, I've not really done anything. What do you mean? Digital marketing is not talk. It's something practical. For example, somebody sent me a message a few days ago. He said, Mr. Moses, I was invited for an interview. And part of the things they sent me in the email was that I must come along with proof that I'm a digital marketing expert. Then he asked me, what should I do, sir? <laughs> but because he got trained and I said, I had to tell him, just tell them you worked you were part of the team that helped a company to rank as best place to learn digital marketing in the background. And all those other digital marketing keywords that we rank for, they will see the Digital Marketing Training Institute, they will see my phone number, they can call me once they mention your name, I can then say, okay, he's a student, he worked with us on this to make all this happen. No practical evidence that you know what you are talking about. Since you graduated, what have you done? Have you built any website? Have you helped have you created any Google My Business profile to show up on the first page? Have you written any content that wows people? Have you created anything super brilliant on graphics? See, you must have practical evidence to show that you know what you are talking about. This is not about having a certificate like you have from the university and you are hard from the university now, you cannot do anything practical. Even though you studied fishery, you don't even know how to rear fish. You don't even know how many days fish it will take for a fish to become much. You don't know, but you have the certificate. You even graduated with the first class. So this is digital marketing. It, they, they have practical skills. So number two, they have no practical evidence to show that they know what they are talking about. You must avoid that. If you've decided that, okay, I want to be an expert in SEO or I just want to focus on web designing, go and start watching web design videos and build your first website. It doesn't cost you more than 1,500 Naira to start. 1,000 Naira for the domain name, 500 Naira for the hosting. It doesn't cost you more than that to start and 500 Naira every month to maintain the site. Okay? Now, to further buttress that point, see this guy here, one of my students, you can see my picture here, that's the front of our office, if you know our office here. This is one of my students, his name is Jones Prophet. See, after I graduated, he set up this website called chatteredmarket.com. You can go to the site, chattered, as in chattered accountant, chatteredmarkettogether.com. That's his website. Now, he creates videos organizations still today i don't create videos for people i just create videos for my training like i'm doing right now i don't create videos like this but the guy has done i've seen wonderful videos that he did the question is were we the ones that taught him this the answer is no he went out and kept watching videos on youtube that's what i'm talking about are you saying when this guy goes for an interview with someone who hasn't done anything practical, they will employ the other one before him? It's not going to happen. Will you employ the other person? You won't. You would rather employ the one that has evidence, that he knows what he's talking about, not the one that just shows up with a certificate from Google. Who cares? You must have something practical. You can visit the website chatteredmarket.com, chatteredmarket.com go to the site, look for the phone number, visit the about us, call him and ask if he knows about Moses Alabi Sama. He was one of my first students. I don't claim anything 
for his success with the business he's doing. But our company was the first place he learned digital marketing and he launched out on his own. Gather practical evidence. Number three, they have nobody to recommend them. This is also related to number two. Now, if you don't have practical evidence, who will you have to recommend you? Now, having someone to recommend you means you have worked with someone before somewhere. That's all it means. You must have somebody to recommend you. Like one of our graduates, Adesha Wagumaki, I'll be talking about her further later on in the video. When she graduated, somebody asked me, Mr. Moses, please, do you have somebody that can work with me as a digital marketing intern? She lives in Ife. I had to call her. Why did I call her? She has sent me some of her work that she has been doing as a content management expert somewhere or the content management professional somewhere in an organization in Ife. I immediately called and I said, there's something you can be doing here in Ibadan while you are still doing your content thing in Ife. Because the one she's doing in Ife, she doesn't have to be there 24 hours. That is how it works. The proof that you have practical experience will help you quickly get recommendations. I cannot recommend you when you have nothing to show that you have been doing something since you graduated. Now, some of you watching this video will still be saying, so we don't get the point. What are you still trying to say? My brother or sister, get the point, get the point. You need to have practical evidence before somebody can recommend you to someone else. That's the fact. That is a fact. Number four, they want to climb the ladder from the top. I've seen people that have told me, please provide us with digital marketing graduate from institution. And I said, how much you'll be paying? They said 50,000. And I called somebody I have in mind. They said, I said, somebody wants a digital marketing professional and they're going to pay 50,000. They said, ah, 50,000 is too small. Though. If they can't pay 70, they should leave it. Ah, what are you talking about? If you work in a place and they pay you 50,000 hours for a start, you are gathering what is called practical experience, number two. You are gathering what is called recommendation, number three. As long as the pay, according to me, is not lower than 40,000 naira ticket, you are getting practical experience on the job as you are working, you are also learning and improving yourself. Till today, I am still learning in digital marketing. And I've also realized that even my mentors still attend seminars to learn more. You cannot climb the ladder from the top. It cannot happen and it will never happen. You need to start from the bottom and go up. It's a straight line graph. Okay? Like I said, this is it. This is the person I was talking about, Adesha Wagumaki. This work she's doing presently now, She's earning 45,000 naira a month. But I can guarantee you, when she leaves this job, she won't be going back to a 40,000 naira a month job. She's going to get something better. Why? She's going to get a recommendation from this person she has worked with. And she's going, she's going to be able to show the next job she's going, a letter of employment as a digital marketing officer. This is just September 2020. How much is salary? 45,000 naira. She spends almost 15,000 naira a month going to that place. And she works from, I think, eight to six. So you can't climb the ladder from the top. Get that straight. Number five, they are not ready to leave their comfort zone. This is one of the biggest problems I have. I am telling you today, if you want to get a digital marketing job within the next 30 days, move to Lagos or Abuja. Some people grew up in the bottom primary, secondary, university, or polytechnic, or they grew up in a learning primary, secondary, university, or polytechnic. It's their comfort zone. Mention any successful, successful person you know in Nigeria that didn't relocate from where they grew up to where they are. Mention Bishop Oedipo. Mention Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Mention Tony Elumelu. Mention Femi Tedola. Mention Jimovia of Zenith Bank. Many of these people left their comfort zone and moved to places that they did not know them. But those places they moved to were places that had more potentials for them to grow, to learn, and to get opportunities to implement what they already know. 
Sam Adeyemi's story is very important. He grew up in Kogi State. He left Kogi, moved to Lagos. He said he left, he got there with only one suit. What up today? Who doesn't know Reverend Sam Adeyemi? That is how it works. You cannot say, I cannot live in Ibadan. I don't know anybody in Lagos. I don't know anybody in Abuja. I don't know anybody anywhere. It's only in Ibadan. It's only in Ilorin that I have a place. It's only this, it's only that. This is the only place I can live. My dear, if that is the only place you can live, deal with it. If there are not enough jobs, organizations in the place where you live, then you need to move to the next step. That means you won't be focusing on getting a job in an environment where there are no many organizations. You now need to focus on learning how to sell your skill. How do you want to sell your skill when you don't have any practical evidence? How? You are not able to get a job because there are not many organizations that can pay you well in the city where you are. Yet, you are not able to show to anybody or business owner that you can help them get clients because you don't have anything practical to show that you know what you're talking about. Let's move on. Number six, they are not ready to work for free. Now, one of the biggest things I've learned from Dan Lok is being able to provide value first before asking for money. <laughs> Nigerians would rather die than work for free. But the truth of the matter is, that is why we have mentoring. Many of my graduates will call me, sir, the job thing you told us about, what's happening, how long is it going to take? But only one person, and I've trained over 300 students, only one person has ever called me to say, Mr. Moses, please, can I come and work with you? Anytime you have classes, anytime you're on a project, can I just come and work with you? It doesn't matter, I'm not asking for money, I will come, even if it is once a week. Only one person has done that. Nigerians don't think it is part of their CV working for free. What thing you don't know is that when you are working for free in an organization, it is part of practical evidence and it is part of where you will get a recommendation. Somebody will say, okay, I want to go and work for free. If I'm going to go and work for free, who will cover my transport? My dear, at home where you are now, you go out to greet friends. You go out to watch football. You subscribe every day. Who is covering all that deals? If you want to do something, you will find a way. Have you ever thought of writing to an organization and say, okay, my name is Moses Alabisama. I graduated, I, I studied so and so in the university. I'm a digital marketing professional. I have six certifications in digital marketing. These are the certifications, okay? I have practical experience to show that I'm able to, I've been able to do this. You mentioned one or two things that you've done before. I would like to help your organization to get more clients. I am willing to work with your organization for free for the next three months implementing digital marketing strategies for your organization. Now, get something right. Because it is digital marketing, you don't even have to go to work every day. Once they give you access to the information that you want, go to work with it. You don't have to resume to their office every morning because digital marketing is just about you doing what you have to do online. You have to go out there and render your service for free. I didn't even say for 500 Naira. Go out there render this service for free we all started that way we all started out that way i've built websites for people for free and i've used them because for example one of the first websites i helped someone build i called the person that will build build it i taught him something about seo that will help his own web design company start showing up on the first page of google where he resides he was able to achieve that. Then I told him, please, help me design this website. He did it for me. Now, the man that he did it for was a big, big in quotes, man in our church. I approached him. I told him about the website I built for him. He was so happy about it. He gave me a ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, I didn't send me work to build the website for him. He gave me, I think, 5,000 hours or so. Okay, good. It didn't cost me much to build the site. So... I got the 5,000 naira, at least. That covered the cost of building the site. Okay, so after the site is up, I went to meet him and told him, sir, can you recommend me to one or two of your friends? I can help them build a website. And he recommended me to three of his friends. One of them decided that he would build the website. Fine, after I have built the website for that his friend, now I have two websites that I have built. 
That's practical evidence. Number three, now, I will now tell them, this is your website that I've built for you. We can do more. Wouldn't you like this your website to be showing up on the first page of Google when someone is looking for your type of business? Definitely, they will say yes. That is where content marketing comes in and SEO. This is what I will charge you if you want me to do that for you every month. How did it start? Working for free. Go and watch the videos of Dan Lok on YouTube. It will tell you more about working for free, giving value first before asking for money. Number seven, which is the final one. They have stopped learning. Just like many Nigerians do. We hardly read. Once they finish the training, that is it. They are waiting for a miracle to, to happen. See, there's, a, there's something I used to tell my friend. Uh, Sam Oyekola is our website instructor at the training. There's something I used to tell him. I say, there's a university I attend every night and it's just for 50 naira. <laughs> Airtel has a package where for 25 naira every night between 12 and 5, you get 250 MB and you're allowed to do it four times. That means with 100 naira, you get one gig at night. That one gig, I download at least five videos every night every <laughs> if you see my system you can hack samuel yekola i have many videos on digital marketing copywriting sales management many things you can never stop learning in this field one that amazes me the most is when dan Locke, that i hold as one of my top mentors tells me that he just read a book on sales. And I'm wondering, Dan Locke is reading a book on copywriting. Dan Locke is the highest paid consultant in the world. How can he still be reading a book on copywriting? We, where people pay him hundreds of thousands of dollars to attend the seminars. They used to call him the highest paid consultant in the world. He's the number one high ticket closer in the world. Go online and watch his videos. You want to talk of Bishop Oedepo? <laughs> Someone that is regarded as the richest pastor in the world and owns one of the biggest church auditoriums in the world. Still tells people that he reads at least one new book every month. No wonder he has been able to write over 100 books. You cannot stop learning in this field. And when I'm talking of learning here, I'm talking of videos. Videos that will be showing you what to do. You cannot stop learning. You want to achieve something big, these seven things I've mentioned are the things you need to do to turn your digital marketing knowledge into money. I'm telling you, you are far better than many graduates in Nigeria today. But you see, it won't amount to anything if you're not doing anything with it. What are you doing with your digital marketing knowledge? What are you doing about your dreams? You've taken action. You've done a, more than the average person. You've attended a digital marketing training. You've gotten a skill. Challenge yourself. That is why I'm creating this video. This nation needs great people like you. This nation needs great leaders like you. You need to make your dreams come true. You need to make your family happy. How would you and I turn around this nation if we are poor? We face challenges every day. There are some hard bars I run that don't convert. There are some businesses I, talk, I would think, oh, this is going to be a good business. I put some money into it. Nothing comes out of it. There are sometimes I collect money from people to invest in my training. We run adverts on radio. Not a single person <laughs> responds. What are you going to do? Are you going to kill yourself? No, you won't kill yourself. You stand up again. You read more. Why did this not work? What can I do about it? That is how it works. And that is how it works. It's just like one day. I credited one of my Facebook ad accounts with 8,000 Naira. Somebody just gave me some money. I credited the Facebook ad account with 8,000 Naira. The following day, I got a message that my Facebook ad account has been blocked. 8,000 Naira, gone. Thank God I already had an ad running. So the ad I actually wanted to run that made the account to be blocked. I could not run it, but thank God I had an advert running. So I just used that ad that was running and it completed the 8,000 naira, even though the ad was not too useful for me because the time for the ad already gone. But I just let the ad continue running until I spent the 8,000 naira that was in the account. 
If not, I would have put that money in there and once, and once Facebook bans your ad account, you can't run an ad and the money will just be there. Who will you report Facebook to? There are many challenges we face in digital marketing. You cannot give up and say, okay, now I want to go and learn Forex trading or now I want to go and learn fishery. No, implement these seven things I have written here. Go through this video again. Seriously, I believe in this country and I believe in you watching this video because you got to this video because is either you've attended a digital marketing training before or you are looking to attend one. Whichever way it is, do not give up on your dreams. And one way is that don't think that your success is in the hands of another person. That person is not God. Your success is in your hands. So you need to step out and make things happen. I hope with this video, I've been able to encourage you, challenge you to be a better person. And one day, I hope, I pray, we'll see in a country like Canada, we'll meet in the UK, we'll meet in different places in this world. Thank you for watching this video. My name again is Moses Alabi Isama. I am the founder and head of trainings at Just Be Digital Marketing Academy, located at 11A Obey Street, Kongi, Bodija in Ibadan. You can reach out to me through call or WhatsApp on 090 Have a great day.